Fallen Field School is a school for pupils with profound, severe and complex needs. We currently have around 225 pupils on roll. We believe strongly that learning doesn't just happen in the classroom, therefore we do offer our pupils a wide range of opportunities to learn within the community and the local environment. One of the options is Forest School, where our pupils go and learn in an outside environment. We do find that much of the time our pupils are more engaged in learning outside than they are in the classroom. We're currently developing a field behind the school. We're turning it into a community pavilion with also facilities for our own forest school and football pitches. We're hoping that this becomes a huge part of the local community. We have a wide range of specialist facilities to meet the needs of all the different children that we have in our school. We have a soft playroom which is generally for the younger um, children and they really enjoy climbing around in there um, and having a bit of fun. We have a sensory room which is mainly for students with sensory impairments. Uh, they have access to switch operated devices, there's bubble tubes um, and specialist lighting and that also gives them some time out of their chairs as well. We have a hydrotherapy pool which is for those students that have physical disabilities and they follow their hydrotherapy programmes in there with the teaching assistants. But it's also a time to be out of their chairs and have a bit of fun and interact one-to-one -one with the staff. We have a range of specialist classrooms which meet the needs of the different curriculum pathways. We have a food technology room where students across the school develop their skills in cooking, chopping, washing up, using the washing machine. We have an IT room where children can develop their IT skills using um, the computers in there. We also like them to learn about online safety and also we like them to develop their life skills using IT such as emailing or doing their shopping online and how to use social media safely. We have a team of specialist staff who meet the physical needs of our students and they are part of our MOVE team which stands for Movement Opportunities via Education and they look at using all the specialist equipment and working with the physiotherapists and the occupational therapists to see how we can build in physical development right through the child's day so that it's not seen as an extra thing that they do but it's part of their learning throughout the day. We have two teachers who are trained teachers of the deaf and they support children with hearing impairments across the school. Most of the students with more profound hearing impairments are included in those classes with teachers of the deaf. We're particularly proud of the work that our HI staff do uh, in the community, taking the students out so that they are already part of the deaf community locally. We have four main departments in the school, starting with the infant department uh, that has the First Leap Nursery, which is our observation and assessment nursery, a year R class, and then some mixed year one and two classes. Moving into the junior department, we have needs group classes from year three up until year six. One of those classes is based over at Garlinge and is a satellite class, and the other classes are all over here on the Fordham Fields site. Up in secondary, we've got key stages three to five. Key stage three is based in the middle part of the school and the sixth form department, key stage five, that's right at the far end of the school and they're working more on their life skills and accreditation and getting ready for leaving school and being part of the wider world. Our pupils have a huge range of needs, cognitive, communication, physical, social, emotional and mental health needs. And we've designed separate pathways to meet those diverse needs to make sure that every student is getting the things that they need to prepare them for a happy and healthy life beyond school. Our children in the infant department all follow the early years foundation stage and that's learning through play.
We then have our Explorers Pathway and that's designed for our students with profound and multiple learning difficulties at the very earliest stages of learning and this is a sensory therapeutic based curriculum where the therapists work very closely with parents, the class team and families to make sure that those students needs are met and that they are all working towards greater independence. Our Discoverers Pathway is designed for those students who are working below the national curriculum and will probably be working at those levels for the whole of their school careers. And that pathway is designed to prepare students for independent living. There's a focus on life skills, communication and also physical development. And a lot of the learning happens through practical life skills, practical process-based learning and fun-based activities. Our final pathway is our Pioneers Pathway. And that's for those students who are actually working at national curriculum levels, but a lower level than the peers in mainstream. And these students are aiming for the world of work. And we're looking for those students to gain accreditation in subjects that will enable them to get employment once they leave school. Our students with hearing impairments will follow the appropriate pathway for their needs but they will also be taught by the teachers of the deaf and they will also have deaf studies as part of their curriculum. And this means that they learn to manage their own hearing aids, they learn about deaf culture and they're introduced to the deaf community in Thanet. Pupil voice is very important at Ford and Field School. We have an active school council and every class has a representative that can bring forward ideas for school improvement. We're also a gold level rights respecting school. Uh, we were the first special school to win that award in Kent. And we do lots of work about children understanding their rights. We have an ethos of respecting children's rights in the school. And we also teach children about how they can support the rights of children in other countries beyond the UK. Over the past couple of years, we've introduced the Duke of Edinburgh Award just recently we've had our first group complete their silver award and our second group complete their bronze award. The silver award pupils will soon be working towards the gold award as well, which is a real achievement for the pupils and for the school. Completion of the scheme includes activities such as pitching your own tent, cooking your own food and going for hikes. This involves a lot of problem solving and working together as a team and is a real achievement for pupils when they do finally get the award. I'm most proud of the personalised learning that we offer here at Fordham Field School. The curriculum starts with the child and we look at what they will need, what skills they will need to develop and what support they will need to develop those skills so that they can be happy, successful adults when they leave school. Many of the children that attend the school will start here in nursery and go right the way through to when they leave at 19. I pride myself on seeing the growth in all of them, working from being school children to independent adults and seeing that growth is a fantastic part of my job.